So we will have two compositions to learn today. The first composition we we are going to um learn is this the first one people I know. Okay, get it. So we look at the picture. Let's look at the following pictures carefully. Read the helping words given in the box. So we have a series of pictures. We have a series of three pictures and one more, there is a question mark there. Okay, then you can explain, okay, what happened next? Okay, so we have some words in the box here. We have groceries, knock into, okay, knock into, you can say groceries, like, can you see that this aunt, this aunt has just came back from buying her groceries, okay, in this picture here. And then we can see a boy running down, running downstairs with his pet dog. And then after that day, after that, they bumped into each other. All right, he knocked into the lady. All right, he knocked into the lady. And then the lady scolded the boy. All right, what happens next? Can you see that when the lady scolded the boy, uh, when the when the lady was scolding the boy, the dog was barking at her. Correct? And then number four, you can tell, okay, what happened? Okay, right. Can I ask Yishin? Okay, Yishin, can you tell me what, what would happen next? What is your guess? What would happen next? Mm. Yeah, what's your guess? You try to guess it. The boy apologized. Hmm? The boy apologized. Yeah, I know the boy apologized to her, but then what happened to the boy, to the dog? Yeah, Yishin, you can try to um guess it. What's what's going to happen next? The dog bit her. The dog bit her. Is it? Yishin, yeah. what about you? What's your guess? Not sure. Not sure what's going to happen next. You can tell me in Chinese. Yeah, okay. I can also I can speak in Mandarin too. What could possibly happen? Like what could possibly happen next? Maybe she would call the boy's parents, or anything. What could possibly happen? Okay, yeah. You can say the dog bit her. All right, the dog bit her. Because the boy was trying to protect its owner. Correct? So the Dog defended its owner. Okay, the dog defended the boy and bit the lady. Maybe you can say the, the lady was about to slap him. You know, the boy, I mean, the lady was about to slap him. And then the dog bit her. I think slapping someone is not right, correct? I think this is too much, right? It's not right to slap people. Okay, you can see that she was pointing, you know, she was pointing at the boy countlessly. All right, she was pointing at the boy and scolded him a lot. And then the boy, uh, I'm not the boy, I mean the dog bit her finger. Okay, you, you all can write over here. The boy bit her finger. Okay, this could, number one. So this is the possible outcome. Okay, wait ah. Uh, let me write over here. Possible outcome. 可能的后果 in Chinese. Possible outcomes means 可能的后果. The first one. The dog bit. Because in past tense, the past tense form for bite is bit. Bite, bit, bitten. Bite, bit, 
bitten. So the second one, V2. You, you, you use V2. So you say the dog bit her. Okay. The dog bit her in defense of its owner. You can write in defense. Why? You can say in defense of its owner, which is the boy, right? The dog bit her in defense of its owner. Okay, the dog bit her in defense of its owner. Or you can say bit her finger. Okay, you can write over here. You write over there. And then the second one, what could be the possible outcome? She phoned. So what is it? She phoned her. Uh, so, sorry, she phoned his parents, right? She phoned his parents. He called his parents. Yeah, you can say she called his parents or she phoned his parents. Okay. And let them, let them know or let them knew. Let them knew. Knew, yeah, in past tense, knew, okay? And let them knew about their son's misbehavior, okay? Misbehavior means something that he uh, did wrongly, okay? She phoned his parents and let them knew about their son's misbehavior, Okay, she phoned the little boy's parents and let them know about his misbehavior. Okay, clear? Okay, there are a couple of questions, not a couple, but um, we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine questions. So I would like to randomly okay call names and then answer the questions. Okay, as in it's like a speaking practice lah. Okay, the first one. Okay, seems like you are still writing. Okay, Lero, are you done? You are also. Finish. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to uh, call names and answer the first question. Okay, Abby, you will do the first one. What was the woman doing in back? Uh, sorry, in picture one. What was the woman doing in picture one? Walking up the stairs. She is walking up the stairs. Yeah, very good. Okay, she is walking up the stairs. And then the second one, you are. What was the boy doing? Huh? I cannot hear you. Run? Run? Running? Run. Downstairs. Yes, yeah. yeah, he is running downstairs. Okay, he was running downstairs with his dog. Okay, he was running downstairs with its dog uh, with his dogs sorry not dogs i mean dog one more time okay he was running downstairs with his dog okay good lero what about the third one what happened to the boy and the woman in picture two They knocked into, into each other. Yeah, they knocked into each other. All right, they knocked into each other. Okay, and then Ng Yixin, what was the woman doing in picture three? She was? She was. 
she was scolded or she was scolding? She was scolding. Mm -hmm. She was scolding the? The boy. The boy, yeah. She was scolding the boy. All right. For running here and there. So, sorry. For running down the stairs. Because it's very dangerous. Okay. Felice. So, how did the dog react? The dog barked at the woman. Yeah. The dog barked at the lady or the dog barked at the woman. All right, in defense of its owner. Okay, because it was trying to defend its owner. So the next one, Abby, what do you think happened next? She found his friend and let them know of Santa's message. Yeah, you can say she phoned his parents and let him and let them knew about. And let them knew about their son's misbehavior. Okay, good. And then the next one, you are, have you ever come across such a situation? Have you ever come across such a situation? Means have you experienced such experience? Uh, sorry, have you experienced such situation before? You are never. Never, never experienced this before. One more time, I can't hear you. Have you ever come across such a situation? No, never. Okay, if no, you can write over there, never. Okay, never. I have never come across such a situation. Okay, you can say never. So, Lero, do you visit your neighbors? What is your first impression of them? Yeah, do you visit your neighbors? Where do you live? Do you live in a condo or a terrace house? Terrace. Terrace house, okay. Do you visit your neighbors? Are you close to them? Kinda. Huh? Kinda. Kinda. Kind of close to them. Have you ever visited their house before? Like you go into those? Yes. So what is your first impression of them? Of your neighbors? Kind. They are kind. Okay. They are kind. What else? Just kind. Just kind. No more. Okay. All right. Good. So, yeah, you can say, yes, I do visit my neighbors. Okay. Yeah. And then they are quite, uh, they are pretty kind. You know, when I first met them. Okay. When I first met them, I think that they are very kind. Okay. Eng Yi Shin. Has anything unhappy happened between you and your neighbors? Mm. No. Or you don't talk to them? Mm. Do you talk to them? Do you talk to them? Sometimes. Sometimes. I see. Are you close to them? Are you close to your neighbors? Mm. Close. Ni uh, so ma like. Are you mm. close to them? Not very close. Left or right? Like. Are you are you living in a terrace house or, are you living in a landed house or, condo? Mm. Hmm. Apartment. Apartment. Okay, you're living in an apartment. Okay, cool. So on your left and on your right, do you have their contact numbers? No. no. So you are not very close to that. Yes. Yes means? 
<laughs> yes means not very close to them or close to them. Close to them. So yeah, you can say not very close to them. Yeah, you can try and repeat. Not very close to them. Yeah, not very close to them. I know close is like open and close, but there is another meaning for close too. Okay, means common, like so for so, like that. Okay, good. So, Felice, what about you? Do you have anything uh, unhappy that happened between you and your neighbors? No. Um, no. <clears throat> the cat. The cat. Always poop at my garden. Always poop at your, at your garden. Uh. How, 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 did, how did the cat get into your house? The cat jumped. Oh, just jumped over. Just jumped over and then poop in your garden. That's then what happened? So you have to clean up, is it? Yeah. Did you complain it to your neighbors? Yeah, so what did your neighbors do? They say sorry. Huh? They say nothing. Or they say sorry. What did they what did they how did they react? Did they say sorry? No. No, they never say sorry. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, so over here, we read the composition together, all right? And then you'll learn some words here. Okay? So, Abby, you can read the first passage. Oh, sorry, the first paragraph. So let's see how they write this essay. This uh, sure is my name she lived on the second floor and back of our sink box. She is an person. I do not like her. Yeah, correct. So, An Su is my neighbor. She lives on the second floor of our housing block. Okay. She is an unfriendly person. I do not like her. Okay. Right. So, other than unfriendly, what can you write? She is a hostile person, okay? You can say she is a hostile person. Or like hostile. Yeah, hostile means unfriendly. She is a hostile person. I do not like her. Or you can say I dislike her. You can write this. I dislike her. It means you don't like her. Okay, you all can write it down. So the next one, you are one day. One day I was late for an appointment. I ran down the stairs. I knocked. I hurried. I did not see anyone coming up the stairs. Knock into each other at the first floor landing. It was time when I realized who I had knocked into. I know I was in thoughts to bag of roses and fallen on the landing. Apologize in a voice because she seemed so stood there shouting. Can you see coming up the stairs? Yeah, okay. So over here we can see that the um owner, okay, or the little boy, okay, he ran down the stairs with his dog. Right? In my hurry, it's like she quickly I mean in my hurry, I did not see anyone coming up the stairs. Means uh in in a hurry. Hurry means like in a very um in a very I don't know how to explain this, uh explain this word. Hurry. Hurry is like ah uh, yeah, in Chinese means hanji. Okay, I did not see anyone coming up the stairs. Okay. Right, and then 
We knocked into each other at the first floor landing. It was Ansu. When I realized who I had knocked into, I knew I was in hot soup. Well, so what is me? What is meant by this? I knew I was in hot soup. I was in big trouble. Everyone, buddy, you can write it. I was in hot soup means I was in big trouble. I knew I was in big trouble. So I use the, I mean, you use the word new because it's in past tense. I knew I was in hot soup means I knew I was in big trouble. So her bag of groceries had fallen, had fallen on the landing. So I quickly apologized. Apologize means what is the meaning I'm of sure. say sorry? Okay. Yeah, say sorry. I quickly said sorry in a trembling voice. Trembling means say fato in Chinese. Okay, so it's like shaky in a trembling voice because she seemed so angry. She stood there shouting. Didn't you see me coming up the stairs? So over here, uh, Lero, can you read it? I look down as. I look down as Aunt Sue continue to scold me in a stern voice. Stern voice. I knew I was in the wrong. What I did posed a danger. Pose a danger to anyone using the stair. Suddenly, my dog began to bark. Aunt Sue shout at my dog. My dog barked louder in return. In the end, it... It sounded... It sounded like the two of them are were quarreling. Were quarreling. I try hard not to laugh. I told my dog to be quiet and apologize to Aunt Sue again. Okay, very good. Okay, so do you have any word that you don't quite understand? Like quarreling. It sounded like the two of them were quarreling. Quarreling in Chinese means chào jia, okay? In Chinese, quarreling means chào jia. Okay? What I did pose a danger to anyone using the stairs, which is true, okay? Because he was running down the stairs, you know? So it posed a danger to anyone who used the stairs. And then the last one, Ng Yi Xing. An Su Xin satisfied. And Yi Xu Xin satisfied that I had say sorry twice and walk away. Mm -hmm. I pet my dog and gave it a thumbs up. At last, it was not as of five of as I was. Yeah, okay. Good. So she seemed satisfied. Man yi, okay? Satisfied in Chinese is called man yi. That I had said sorry twice and walked away. I petted my dog and gave it a thumbs up like this. Okay, gave it a thumbs up. At least it was not as afraid of Ansu as I was. Okay, good. So this is the whole composition for the um for the compass uh for the three three picture series that we saw just now. Okay. So let's look at the picture, okay? Let's look at the picture. So um by looking at this picture, what do you feel about this teacher? Is she is she fierce? No. She's not fierce. 
She's quite gentle, is it? She's quite gentle. She's as gentle as a dove. Okay, she's as gentle as a dove. Okay, you can write over here. She's as gentle as a dove. You can write something down. Okay. She is as gentle as a dove. Okay. Dove in Chinese is called gezi. All right. So, hmm, number two. She was walking. She, she saw somebody. She saw a boy. What was she doing? Uh, sorry, what was he doing? He was? You, uh, can you tell me how was he? He's sleeping. He was sleeping, uh-huh. He fell asleep. So <laughs> you can say he was sleeping on his folded arms, okay? Get it? Yeah. He was fast asleep, okay? You can say he was fast asleep. On his folded arms. Okay, on his folded arms. Like, both of his arms are folded like this. Okay, he was fast asleep on his folded arms. So, was she angry? Was the teacher angry? No. She was not angry, okay? She can write, she was not angry. Instead, she was concerned. Okay, concerned is like guan xin, ha. Huh? Okay, in Chinese, it's called guan xin. She was not ang angry. Instead, she was concerned. Instead, comma, fan -e, Okay, instead, in Chinese, it's called fan -e. Fan -e, ta jie de hen guan xin, Okay, instead, she was concerned. Of him. You know, because we never know, okay, why was he so sleepy? Maybe he helped out at his uh, father, at his parents' store or what. Okay, he was, she was not angry at him. Instead, she was concerned of him. Okay, right over there. And then what else? She gently tapped on her shoulders like this. Oh? She gently tapped on her shoulders like this. Tap on her on on his shoulders, okay. She gently tap on his shoulder. Okay, you can write over there. You can write on your paper. She was not angry. Instead, she was concerned of him. She gently tapped on his shoulder to wake him up. Okay, two. Wake him up. You don't say to walk, walk. Because you see the word to, you must write the original word form. To wake him up. Okay? Get it? Yeah. So jerk. So you can write that he woke up with a jerk like this. <laughs> like that. Okay, so when she, when the teacher tapped on his shoulder, he woke up with a jerk. He woke up with a jerk means got shake a little bit lah. Okay, get it? Can you see that in the in the word box? Uh, sorry, in the vocabulary box? Jerk. So you can write over there, he woke up with a jerk. He woke up with a jerk and he was embarrassed because everybody was watching him right he was embarrassed okay he was embarrassed okay he was embarrassed
because everybody was watching him. Okay? So you can say we all, okay, all of us like this teacher, right? She was a very, she is a very likable teacher. Likable, you can write. She is a very likable teacher. Likable means 很讨人喜欢. In Chinese, 讨人喜欢. Likable. She is a very likable teacher. We all like her. Okay? Or you can say she is a very like, she is one of the most likable teachers. Okay, right. She is one of the most likable teachers in my class. Okay, right. You add another S because you have many teachers that you like and she is one of them. Okay, me the teacher home fang S because you hando lao si chi chong ika lao si. Okay, she is one of the most likable teachers in my class. We never wanted to skip her class. Oh. Okay, we don't want to skip her class. Okay, she, she explains her lessons very clearly. And her lesson is full of surprises. Okay, finish? Yes. Ishin and Abby, how about both of you? Are you finished? Good. So here are some questions. What is the teacher doing in picture one? Police. <clears throat> the teacher was teaching. Yeah, the teacher was teaching, right? In past tense. So, Abby, what is the teacher doing in picture two? She was standing next, uh, uh, next to who? The boy who is asleep. The boy who was asleep, right? Who was fast asleep. Yeah, she was standing next to the boy who was fast asleep. Okay, number three, um, you are, what is the teacher doing in picture three? Step on him. Hmm? Advice? What did he do? Uh, what did she do? The boy is uh what did she do? She she called the boy up. What was it? Oh she just walked the boy, uh walked the boy up, is it? She walked the boy up. Okay, Ken, you can say she walked the boy up or she tapped on his shoulder. And he woke up with a jerk, right? She tapped on her, oh, sorry, she tapped on his shoulder and he woke up with the jerk. Okay. And you can also say that she advised um, the boy, okay, to sleep early. Okay. And not to stay up late. Okay. You also learned the phrasal verb called stay up, right? Stay up late. Don't stay up late. Okay, the teacher advised him not to stay up late. Or he he will not have enough um concentration for the class. All right. He needed uh focus and concentration. Okay, get it? Yeah. So the next one, Lero, what probably happens next? What could possibly happen? Teachers ask him why he sleep in the class. Yeah, you can say the teacher asked him why he sleeps in the class. Correct. So, and then he said, oh, I stay up late. Teacher, I'm sorry. You know, he apologized to the teacher. He said, I'm sorry, teacher. 
I didn't stay uh stay up late because sorry, I stayed up late because I was preparing for exam. All right, or I stay up late because I played uh video games yesterday. All right, the night before. Okay, good. I was playing video games with my friends until late night. So, um, Yi Xin, what will the teacher do then? Do you think that the teacher will punish him? How it turn bad, how do you think that the, the the teacher will punish him? No. So she she is a very kind teacher. She is a kind teacher. So what will the teacher do? Um, she tells him. Um, yeah, she tells him what. But, huh? What is it? Um, Wake up, uh huh. Yeah, already woke up, already woke up. So and then the boy also told the teacher that, oh, I'm sorry, I stayed up late. Uh, I stayed up very late for games because I was playing games with my friend. So what did the teacher do? The teacher tells him not to do that again, right? Ah, uh, the teacher tells him not to do that again. Okay, she never punished him. Okay, she never punishes him, but she told him, she advised him not to do that again because it's not good for your health. Okay, get it? Uh huh. So, Felice, has anything like this happened in your class before? Like someone sleeps in the class? Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of times. A lot of times. So many times, I see. So what happened then? And teacher used the rotten and beat the table. Huh? Teacher uses what? Rotten. Rotten. Oh, you mean the cane, ah? Is it? Yeah. The cane to hit the table, is it? Yeah. And hit the table and then makes a very loud sound. Yeah. Oh, okay. And teacher okay. asked the whole class people to clap their hand and then the person who sleep also woke out and also follow the class. Oh, your teacher tells everyone to clap their hands. Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a very creative one. Okay. So let's write, okay, my teacher, a composition about my teacher. So you can write it in your composition book, okay, or on these lines, okay? So let's start with the first one. So you can say my, we can say who, Miss Carolyn. Okay, just simply write my name uh. Okay, you can write my name or write uh, somebody else's name. You can say, Miss Carolyn is my English teacher. Okay, you can write Miss. Who? Okay, you can write my name. Miss Carolyn is my English teacher so you can describe her okay the first paragraph you can talk about you can introduce to everyone who is your teacher all right so how is she you can describe her she is a very She is what? You can learn this she word. A she, very kind teacher. Yeah, she is kind and approachable. Okay, approachable means somebody who is friendly. You can write approachable. A P P R O A. C H A B L E approachable. Approachable means friendly. Okay, she is kind and approachable. Full stop.
Okay, Miss Carolyn is my English teacher. She is kind and approachable. She is also very professional. You can say professional means 专业 in Chinese. Okay, she is very professional and what is it? A lot of people might say teacher is very smart. Okay, other than that, intelligent, intelligent, okay, and also 很有知识, what is that? No ledger, okay, right, yeah, okay, she is also very polite, polite, uh, yeah, okay, you can say she's also very Professional and knowledgeable. Knowledge, okay, knowledge able. So you can break this into two parts knowledge able, knowledgeable. Okay, right. She can teach very well and clearly. Okay, she can. She teaches very well. Okay, she teaches. Or you can say she can. So what can she do? She can teach clearly, okay, clearly and very well. Okay, Miss Carolyn is my English teacher. She is kind and approachable. She is also very professional and knowledgeable. She can teach clearly and very well. Okay, then finish. So why can you write some more? Miss Carolyn is yeah, one of the most likable teacher. Okay, you can say Miss Carolyn is also one of the most likable teachers in my class. Teachers, you add as because there are more than one, okay? In my class. All right, Miss Carolyn is also one of the most likable teachers in my class. She is as gentle as a dove. Okay, she is as gentle as a dove. Full stop. Okay, Lero, can you read the first paragraph? Miss Carolyn is my English teacher. She is kind and approachable. She is also 
very professional and knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. She can teach clearly and very well. Miss Carolyn is also one of the most likable teacher in my class. She is gentle as a dog. Yeah, she is as gentle as a dog. Okay, good. Okay, so the next paragraph, you can say one day. Okay, one day, what happened? Okay, one day. So one one day, uh -huh, Miss Carolyn. Entered my class. You can say one day Miss Caroline entered my class. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, one day Miss Caroline entered my class and carried out her duty. Carried out her duty means um. Okay. Get it? One day, Miss Carolyn entered my class and carried out her duty as a, can carry out her duty. In teaching, right? One day, Miss Caroline entered my class and carried out her duty of teaching. Okay. One day, Miss Caroline entered my class and carried out her duty of teaching. So how was it? You can say everyone, everybody was attentive, except for who? Yeah, you can say everybody, okay? 全部人都很专心上课, okay? Everybody was paying attention, or you can say everybody was attentive. Everybody was or were? Everyone? Uh, everybody is singular or plural? Mm. Like everyone, you were. okay. Everybody word is actually singular. You will be asking me, teacher, why? I thought everybody got a lot of people. Yes, but that everybody body right b o d y is singular, just like everyone one o n e one ah uh, it's singular. Okay, and then every time, every day. Every, no matter what, okay, whenever you see the word every, you pair up with a noun, you will write the singular form of it, okay? Like everyone, everybody, every time, every day, right? So it's singular. So you say everybody was or were? Was. 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 Yeah, remember this, okay? Was, huh? So everybody was paying attention except me. Yeah, was paying attention. Okay. Everybody was paying attention. Was paying attention. Except for can I say except for Tula Sui. Except for who? Me. You can say me or except for but then you were you were watching it. Or maybe you can tell a boy. Except for John, maybe. Okay. Except for John. Or Jacob. Okay, I'll just write Jacob. Lah, okay. Everybody was paying attention except for Jacob. So you can say he was. You can tell me. What happened to him? He was? 
Oh, he sleep. was sleeping. Yeah, he was sleeping on his what? Folded hands, yes. folded arms. He was sleeping on his arms. Folded hands or folded arms? Folded arms. Arms, yeah. How many arm? One arm or many two arms? Two arm. Two. Two. So you say arm or arms? Arms. Arms. Ah, uh, yeah, arms. Okay. Good. He was sleeping on his folded arms. Then what happened? Then Miss Caroline walked towards him. Okay, then Miss Caroline walk. And then what is the prepositions that you use? You don't say walk to him. What Goodbye. do you think? Not walk by. Walk towards. Yeah, two words. Very good. Okay, you write two words. Okay, then Miss Caroline walked with ED, yeah, because it's in past tense. Okay. Then Miss Caroline walked towards him. You can say, then Miss Caroline walked towards him as she noticed him. As she noticed as she noticed him Fast asleep, you can say fast asleep. Then Miss Caroline walked towards him as he noticed him fast asleep. So the next paragraph, you can say, you can talk about what happened, okay? So what was Miss Caroline's reaction? What was her reaction? So the next paragraph, you can say, Miss Caroline Okay, you are. So you can say, you can talk about her look. Miss Caroline looked how? Calm. You can say calm. Okay. So she looked calm. She looked very calm. Okay. Or she looked calm. Okay. Get it? Her lengjing. Right? She looked calm. And, and what else? And she was not. Yeah, you are. So Miss Caroline looked calm and she was not what? Not angry. Yeah, and she was not angry at all, right? Yeah. Miss Caroline looked calm and she was not angry at all. Instead, fun -er, instead. It's called fan er, uh, okay, I'll write the Chinese meaning, okay? Fan er. Okay. Instead, 
she look， 她看起来很关心他。So you can say instead she look， she seemed concerned。Okay， 她看起来 seem。In Chinese is called 看起来。She seemed concerned. Hey, Miss Caroline looked calm and she was not angry at all. Instead, she seemed concerned. With him, okay? She seemed concerned with him. Or with Jacob, or with him, you can use the pronoun him. Okay, Li Tang Rui Chi. Okay, police. So what did she? What did she do? She? What did she do? She gently. What? What did she do? She gently tapped on him. Yeah, tapped on his shoulder, correct? Yeah. You can say she. She gently. Tapped on her. Uh, sorry, she tapped on his shoulder, correct? She, she gently. You can use she gently tapped on his shoulder to. To what? To wake. To wake. To wake him up. Yeah. She gently tapped on his shoulder to wake him up. To wake him up. She gently tapped on his shoulder to wake him up. Jacob, what did, what did he do? So, Jacob woke up with a jerk. Okay, Jacob woke up with a jerk. So he said, how would he feel? Okay, Jacob woke up with the jerk. He was? Yeah, how was he feeling? How would he felt? Embarrassed. Yeah, you can say he was deeply embarrassed because everybody was watching him. You know? Yeah, you can say he was? deeply embarrassed okay he was super embarrassed or he was very embarrassed he was deeply embarrassed you can say deeply embarrassed okay r r double r and double s okay he was deeply embarrassed because everybody was looking at him because what everybody was Looking at him. Yeah, looking at him. Or because everybody's eyes were on him. You can say because everybody's eyes were on him. If you want to make it simpler, you can say he was deeply embarrassed because everybody was watching him. Okay, get it?
the teacher asks, okay, my in you can next paragraph we can say next paragraph we can say my English teacher ask him. Teacher ask. Okay, my English teacher asked him. So, ask him what? Why do you look so tired? Is it? Why were you? So, why were you so? Why are you so tired? Okay, you can put the speech mark. Okay, my English teacher asked him, "Why are you?" So sleepy today, maybe. Why are you so sleepy today? Or why are you so tired? Today. Didn't you get enough sleep yesterday? You can say, didn't you? Why are you so tired today? Why are you so tired today? Didn't you get enough sleep yesterday? And say, didn't you? Alright, didn't you get enough sleep yesterday? My English teacher asked him, why are you so tired today? Didn't you get enough sleep yesterday? Jacob replied. Then you can say Jacob replied. So what did Jacob reply? Yeah. Abby, you can you can try. What would he reply? Because I play because I play video game. Yeah. No, because I stayed up very late. Yeah, I can stay I stay up very late to play video games with my friend. Okay. No teacher. They say no teacher. I stayed up very late because the teacher asked him, didn't you get enough sleep yesterday? Then that's why he said, No, teacher. No, like I didn't get enough sleep. Okay, no teacher. I stayed up late. I stayed up very late for games. Okay, I stayed up very late to play video games. Then she advised him. Then she had advised him not to sleep late again. Not to what is it? Not to sleep again. Uh. Of course, uh, he can sleep. Okay, <laughs> he can sleep. So not to <laughs> not to sleep late. Not to sleep him. Uh, sleep. Sorry, sleep late. Again, okay. Then she advised him not to sleep late again or to stay up late again. Let's say. Now my sleep late. You can say then she advised him not to sleep late again. Okay. 
So you can say he, like you can say Jacob apologized to her. Okay, you can say Jacob apologized to her. It's like say sorry, sorry teacher, I will not do that again. Right, you can say Jacob apologized to her and promised not to do that again in her class. Okay, Jacob apologized to Miss Carolyn and promised what? Yishin. And promised her what? Mm. Uh, what is it? Promised and then with ED. Uh. Promised her what? Not to? Sleep. 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 Again. Sleep in her class. Uh. Yeah, sleep. Not to, sorry, again. Uh. Yishin. What is it? Not to what? Sleep. Sleep in her? Class. Class, yeah. Again. Very good. Okay, and then put a full stop. Yes. Hmm. Finish. Okay. So I would like to call names and then you read the paragraph. Okay, like the first paragraph, second paragraph, third, and fourth. So you are you can read the first one. Miss Carolyn is. Okay, very good. She is as gentle as a dove. Lero, the second one, one day. One day, Miss Carol enter my class and carry out her duty of teaching. Everybody was play, paying attention. Except for except, Jacob. Except for Jacob. He was sleeping on his folded arm. Then Miss Carol walked forward as the walk towards him walk towards him as she noticed him fast asleep yeah noticed him fast asleep okay good then miss caroline walked towards him as he noticed him fast asleep okay good police miss caroline miss caroline looked blind and she was not angry at all. Instead, she seems concerned at him. At him. She gently tapped on his shoulder to wake him up. Jacob woke up with a jerk as he deeply embarrassed because everyone's eyes were on him. Yeah, he was deeply embarrassed. Okay, He was deeply embarrassed because everybody's eyes were on him. Okay, were because everybody's eyes is plural, so you say were. 
because you can say because everybody was watching him or because everybody's eyes were on him. 每个人的眼睛都在他那边, right? Okay, good. Abby, my English teacher? My English teacher asks you, why are you so tired? Then you get sick. Jacob replied, no teacher. I stay up very late to play video games today. Then she advised him not to sleep late. Jacob tries to be telling her sleep. Yeah, okay. Not to sleep late again, yeah? Okay, then she advised him not to sleep late again. Jacob apologized to Miss Caroline and promised her not to sleep in her class again. Okay, good job. So that's the end of the composition, okay? Right, we actually finished it earlier than we expect. Okay, so um, for next week, um, I will be uh seeing all of you for comprehension okay right so that's all for today's class thank you for coming and i'll see you all next week see you and goodbye goodbye and thank you teacher you're welcome goodbye i might give spelling some i might give spelling. thank you teacher bye bye teacher okay you're welcome bye bye